What's up guys, ZeroTex00 here and today we are going to test the Kaspersky free antivirus versus the Hessian blocker malware slash Trojan. So with that guys, let's get straight into the first test. Before we get into the first test, I know that this idea was originally with a normal version of Kaspersky like Kaspersky standard and stuff like that. However, once again, I don't have the budget for the normal version of Kaspersky. So unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with Kaspersky free, but I'm uh, showing you guys that the Kaspersky free antivirus is as good as the normal version of Kaspersky so with that guys let's get straight into the first test which is gonna be by basically extracting the Hessian blocker Trojan on desktop while the Kaspersky free antivirus is on so with that guys let's extract this malware on desktop I'm obviously gonna have to put a password so I can extract it okay guys so it got extracted however as you guys can see the Kaspersky free antivirus has detected and uh, corrupted the extraction as we can see here I'm gonna click here to resolve it slash remove it from desktop so with that guys we can proceed further into a second test okay guys so the second test is gonna be with other protections on on the Kaspersky free antivirus but this time we are gonna run the malware we are not gonna extract it we are gonna run it so with that guys Let's run the Hessian blocker Trojan slash malware in 3, 2, and 1. And as you guys can see, the Hessian blocker malware slash Trojan has got detected and stopped from running by the Kaspersky free antivirus. With that, guys, I'm gonna do a disinfection of camera and I'm gonna be back with the third test. Okay guys, so the third test is gonna be with all these three protections off. Just know guys, these three protections are acting like a secondary protection, so that's why I deactivated them. So with that guys, okay, so we didn't even have to run the malware because as you guys can see, apparently got detected and it prevented us from running it as you guys can see the hessian blocker trojan apparently got detected and removed by the kaspersky free antivirus once again so with that guys i guess we can get straight into a fourth test okay guys so the fourth test is gonna be with the file antivirus protection of only as you guys can see here so with that guys let's run the hessian blocker trojan once once again and hope for the best in three two and one and as you guys can see apparently the Kaspersky has like terminated the process of the hashing blocker Trojan as you guys can see we couldn't yeah we couldn't run the Trojan and as you guys can see it even got deleted now I think if you are gonna go here oh yeah never mind it, it says here that it got deleted so great job Kaspersky 3 I guess with that we can move on into the fifth slash final test which is gonna be very very complicated Okay guys, so for the fifth test, we are actually gonna run the Hessian blocker Trojan for the last time, but this time guys, with all the protections off, and after we run it, I'm gonna reactivate all the protections on, so with that guys, let's run the Hessian blocker Trojan very fast, and then turn on the protections very fast as well, in 3, 2, and 1. Okay guys, the protections are turned on, let's hope that Kaspersky is gonna do something and unfortunately it seems like it was too late, it seems like the system is right now restarting so unfortunately guys, I think we might have gotten infected but before we assume anything we are gonna wait for this restart to happen so I'm gonna see you guys after. <sighs> After a very long time, I literally feel like I aged a lot while I waited for this stupid Windows 10 virtual machine to freaking update and stuff guys. We can finally have freaking access to this virtual machine. I waited so long, a whole 7 minutes, I don't know, I speeded up the whole footage but as you guys can see, there is no malware running, however I'm not very sure of that. But yeah guys, since the system is fine, I guess I can say that it passed. I mean the Kaspersky free antivirus has passed all the five tests uh, the Kaspersky free antivirus has passed because as you can see the system is still up and running and no malware is really running in background so yeah I guess this is pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video it took a while to record because of that stupid update but yeah that's pretty much it I do recommend Kaspersky free it still has a bit of drama with Russia and all this stuff but I, I do recommend it for its protections even the free version is be really great and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this video my name is zero tech zero zero and i'm gonna see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye